so good it was so good i really really love that movie i really love that movie we talk a little bit more about it in the review so you can go and look at that one too but mm. you liked it yeah we're so kind of sticking with that but tom and jerry <laughs> I'm sure we reviewed that one too, tom man. and jerry the movie i don't think we did one of the main characters is actually scarlett johansson's husband uh, Tom and Jerry was actually surprisingly I very it. good. We grew up with the cartoon Tom and Jerry. Similar to last year, where we saw Doolittle, and we thought Doolittle was so much better than Wonder Woman. Yeah. It was different genres. Yeah. But it was good. I mean, I think I prefer Doolittle over Tom and Jerry if I had to choose between oh, you... watching it, which one. Oh. I would probably pick Doolittle over Tom and Jerry but I would watch Tom and Jerry again like it's yeah, a good movie yeah. and it's funny and no, I there's agree. still like a lot of the slapstick but they've kind of made it a little bit more mature in a way because it was in the real world with real mm. people and stuff and Shang-Chi sticking with the kind of Marvel that I really like that movie that was probably my favourite for the... I really... It's not my favourite. It was really good. It was a really, really good movie. And again, I really love that it was majority full Asian cast. Because even though times are changing and they are getting a lot more Asian um, in Hollywood, like Asian actors in Hollywood getting juicier roles and not just like the side. <laughs> juicier roles. Well, like not just like the side character or like the nerdy mm. character. It was so funny. <laughs> like the humor in it is just amazing. And the fact that the main two characters with like a platonic friendship, male and female, I don't know what's going to happen in the future if they're going to mm. change from a platonic friendship to more of a romantic one. But it's, again, it was really nice to see that. And the final one, which was my favourite, was Monster X The Dreaming. <laughs> which we saw last month. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. I love that so much. We did a small little review on that one as well. I love that. Honestly, you can attest. The second young one was on screen at any point. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I love them so much and I love the new songs that they have and just oh my gosh it was just so good to see okay um so those were all the movies that we really saw in the movie theaters um the next one that I have is moments so starting off with a bit of a sad note um my yeah. nan died this year um she last died year. yes last year she died last year and I said that mom um, and she died actually only a few weeks before when we were supposed to get married, which brings to the other one that we had to postpone our wedding. And in Stephen's life, um, he's, we'll call her aunt, like not blood related aunt, but like church aunt, um, had passed away as well. Moving on to better notes, uh, we moved. Yes. We're in a house now. And we've got two new kitty cats. <laughs> two new kitty cats that are out in the lounge room at the moment. Um, TT and Lucy, they were with a shelter in town. I love them, I love them so much. More into the K-pop world. We've got a lot more albums. <laughs> mm. <laughs> debuts. So there were a couple of debuts. Yes. Um, I didn't write one down because I haven't really 
seen a lot of them, but I will quickly mention them because he doesn't know about them. Um, so the first one, Kingdom. Kingdom debuted, and it literally feels like they've been around for like two years. It doesn't feel like they were like debuted last year. We love Kingdom. Kingdom is so amazing. If you do not know Kingdom, go and check them out because they are amazing and I love what they're doing with the band. So the first one Stephen doesn't know about because he has Kina and no Dawn. Interest. Yes. <laughs> Kina and Dawn debuted as a duo in their new company after Cube kicked them for being in a relationship. Oh my gosh, I love their song Ping Pong. Oh my gosh, it's amazing and I love seeing them on stage together again because they were on stage together during H3 with Hui from Pentagon. Bam Bam, Yong Jae, Yog Yom, JB. All debuted as solo artists and I freaking love all of them and I'm so excited. MJ from Astro with Get Set Your. Um, love it. And his song Birth that he did by himself as well, featuring Jin Jin at the beginning. <laughs> Oh, he's just amazing, and I'm so excited and so happy that he won for his throt um, the award with the throt. I am as I was well. Waiting for this. <laughs> he debuted as well. He has his own solo like mixhead album. I'm not really sure what God they're calling damn it. it. I like he it. was too hot to handle. <laughs> oh my god, and that he's was my nice. But he's my age, so I'm like mm, torn. <laughs> really quick mention: Kep Kepler also debuted. Um, I've been obsessed with their song Shoot. Comebacks. So these are the comebacks that we talked or loved the most. There were so many there comebacks. Was way too many. <laughs> We'd be here forever um, if we yes. did. So the first one, NCT, NCT. So NCT Dream came back with Hot Sauce. <laughs> Hot Sauce, the birthday. That was a you. Was no, a you one. liked that song before the remix. <laughs> um, and then Hello Future. I love that one. Absolutely so love good. that one. So good. For NCT 127, our favourite one was Favourite, Vampire. Oh, yes. Yes. And then Wavy, we got Action Figure. Mm -hmm. An action figure. Kick, 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 back. A lot of kick, 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 back. Sticking with Wavy, Lolo, Ten and Young Young. Right, it's yeah. Literally one of my favourite songs. <laughs> And also 10 with Paint Me Naked. <laughs> that was a no surprise to me. <laughs> Monster X, one of a kind. The whole album, honestly. Like yeah. Gambler, Rotate, oh. Secrets. We did like a full reaction oh, for the whole like, album. Like that entire, we have the album. We have all of like, the yeah. like, different sections all of the four, album. All four um, um, versions. versions. BTS, we can't not mention BTS. Butter was absolutely freaking everywhere. <laughs> so is Permission to Dance. And Permission to Dance. So those are the, the main two. You are my universe and I... I actually like that song. It's not my favourite, no, but that, I liked it a lot more than you did. Next one, EXO, Can't Fight the Feeling. <laughs> Get that feeling. Lay. <laughs> That's all I say. That's all I have to say. Lay. <laughs> Stray Kids. Stray Kids. Muck me on top. <laughs> Make me on top. Um, red lights. Jin Jin and Lunchtime. Oh, oh. mm -hmm. I love all of those songs, like surfing and like all of that. But red lights. I mean, come on. <laughs> and Christmas Evil. Christmas Evil was really, really oh my good god, as well. that's and uh, thunderous was everywhere. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> then TXT. Um, love song, magic, and lose a lover were my favorites and the ones that we talked about the most, especially lose a lover. Yeah. Um, yes. And hyphen, um, puppies. Oh. Um, drunk days. <laughs> fever. Like fever, 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 fever. And tamed dash. Shiny Atlantis. <laughs> <laughs> That is such a good song. <laughs> 17, Ready to Love and Rock With You. 
I loved this song. Oh, uh, so they, they brought did. in like the <laughs> they get set Euro, which were MJ, <laughs> but they were like our favorites. Like Birth was just continuous in our house. <laughs> um, and then also one came out. We come as one. We come as one. We come as two. Amber, <laughs> I love my Amber. Yes, you do. Um, neon, neon. Um, and bad decisions. <laughs> that was bad decisions. Bad decisions. Amber can do yes. absolutely no wrong, and her all her whole album I absolutely loved, like complicated, mm. um, and everything. B two B outsider. I loved that song. That was your first look at B two B, other than someday in Goblin, <laughs> and. I'm so glad you watched that. I really want to show you their old stuff as well. Eric Nam. Eric Nam. Um, <laughs> I don't know you anymore. The that Korean. was my favorite one. <laughs> yeah, Steven thinks he's like the Korean Troy Savan, which I I can see it. I he can is. see it. He is a Korean Troy Savan. Especially in I don't know you anymore. Okay, so then really quickly, disbands. <laughs> Got Seven was heart wrenching, but I'm also so happy that they're out <laughs> and they have more freedom mm. and everything like that. Then also G Friend disbanded, which is really upsetting because I really love G Friend. <laughs> Celebrity death that hit home for me. Um, Betty White literally <laughs> passed away right at the end of the year. Did she die like the right like about a week? Her 100th yeah. birthday, which is a huge blow because she is, she was one of the most gifted <sighs> and hilarious people, <laughs> like in Hollywood. Real quickly, <laughs> dramas that I have seen and that we have seen. I saw a lot more dramas than Steven because a lot of them Thai. Uh, I'm gonna mention them, say a little bit about them, and then move on because there's a lot. <laughs> Uh, so the first one that I saw is a Chinese drama called History 3, Trapped, and oh my gosh, it's like mafia and police and amazing and you should watch it because oh my gosh, we the side couple are freaking goals and hilarious. Mm. A Chance to Love, which was um, Love by Chance season 2, which I was so looking forward to, and it was focusing on Can Tin and Can, and they did change a couple things in the storylines from the first season, which was really annoying and everyone found annoying. But it was really cute and really nice and I really hope they're making season 3 because I think I saw they could be making season 3 because Saint may be back and I'm so excited. <laughs> Together with me, season 1 and 2, Max and Tool. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Max and Tool. Oh my gosh. It was really hard to watch in parts because the storyline is a little bit mm, but it was really, really good. It was really good. I really loved it. Life. <laughs> we did do a Oof. review on that life. That was a heavy one. It was really heavy. It was more. We had to. I had life. to. I had to take time to watch that we drama. We couldn't binge it. We could not binge it. It was it very was strong. Even <laughs> Sutos and Sutos S. <laughs> oh my gosh. I really loved them. Um. But it was a bit dry. <laughs> Our Sky, which is like a mini series of like they have like four or five episodes and they do different couples from different dramas um, okay. kind of continue. And I really, really like that. Uh, Fun Type 1 and 2. <laughs> That's what I can't even say anything. If you know anything about Fun Type, I've seen it. You know what my feelings are about that. Why are you and why are you Cypher Son? Um, mini like extra episodes. I love this drama. I love this drama and side drama. Like I think the characters are so well developed and the actors did so well. It's one of my favourite lots of like high dramas. Until we meet again, he can attest I am obsessed with Until We Meet Again. So much. I literally go back and rewatch the left like parts of the episodes because it is one of the best dramas I have ever seen. Like any language. Like it is one of the best dramas and 
it's just, I just can't. I need to do a full video on it because I don't have time. If I start, I'm literally going to be here for three hours. <laughs> the seventh season of Stargate. So, at the... It's good. It, it's yeah. really, really good. I really so love one, it. One... Okay, um, Long Kong. <laughs> it's like a horror one. And the literal only reason I found it and decided to watch it was because Bun Prem and Spoiler, they die. <laughs> Horrible deaths, and I'm so upset. Theory of Love special episode. So I watched Theories of Love 2020, and then I didn't realize there was a special episode, so I watched that one, and I'm like, oh my gosh, so many things were answered, and I kind of got a bit closure, but I wasn't just like, uh, and it was really cute, and I really loved it. And I really love Theory of Love. It's one of my favorite dramas as well. Put Your Head on My Shoulders. I watched that one on Netflix. That is such a good, good one. And I can watch it with you because it's not BL. <laughs> um, uh, Rookie Historian Guhera. I completely forgot about that. Unu, cha unu. That was such a good drama. I love that drama so much. So much. Together the series, Bright and Win. I'm still a little upset about the ending, which a lot of people are, because how dare you just high-five each other, no. Um, and then still together as well, which was really, really cute, and I really, really love that, and I love the ending of that one, because it's a high-five. Hogu's Love, which is an older one, and I absolutely love that. It was so good, it was really difficult to watch for one particular storyline for me, but... Um, on a whole, it was really executed really, really well. My country. <laughs> Ooh, that was another big one that I, really could, loved I couldn't. That one. I couldn't watch. It wasn't a binge, but it's highly recommended. It is so amazing, and you need to watch it. Tale of the Nine Tales. <sighs> I absolutely love that again. Once again, the evil mook. <laughs> <laughs> then lastly, don't say no. I was so excited for this, and I started watching it when it wasn't already way finished and I got really annoyed because I had to wait like a week for the next episode and I'm like no I want to finish this but it was so good and I love Jar and Fiat it's like oh my god I just said, <laughs> just said one of the actors names one of the characters names <laughs> Leo and Fiat which are the characters names they're just a freaking amazing and they're one of the side characters from Found Time season 2 as well and I'm like I love this concepts BTS permission to dance <laughs> I like what's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I loved it so much. And also there was one horror, um We're pretty yeah, sure it was last year as well. One of the second one horror one. I'm pretty sure it was last year, but that we watched that as well and I love both of them. Yes. Okay, and then lastly again with K pop Marriage and Babies. <laughs> what tongue man from 2pm has decided to leave because he and his girlfriend, secret girlfriend, are getting married and having a baby. <laughs> Tae Young from Big Bang, who got married a couple of years ago, had his first baby and I'm so excited because I love him so much. Bobby from Icon got married and has a baby now as well. Chen, who got married and had a baby a couple of years ago, just recently in the past couple of months announced that he was expecting his second baby, which is very exciting. And then Park Shin Hai, who has been one of my favorite female actors, he's just announced that she and her boyfriend, who is another actor, are getting married and are expecting as well. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> and then also really quickly, a couple of my favorite and our favorite artists enlisted in the army mm. and the military because it's compulsory. Sung Jin, Yong Kae from Day 6, Chan Yeol, Baekhyun from EXO, mm. Taemin from Shiny, Shonyu, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Wow, and Dong Hoon from Ace. So that's my swap, <laughs> which is almost an hour. <laughs> but there was a lot to cover. So that's... That's only a small look back. Yeah. I could have literally gone on for three hours. <laughs> Not entirely sure about my upload schedule for this year. I will keep you posted when I know because at the moment, 
work is still hectic. hectic and up in the air of how much I'm going to be working in this year and also my leg is still very much injured. <laughs> that is it for this video. I hope that you liked it. If you did, press the thumbs up button, leave us comments down below, share this on social media if you'd like to, all of my social media links down below. So go check me out, follow me, find me on all of those. If you actually have any requests or suggestions, more videos that you'd like to see on my channel, please leave them down below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Yes. That is it for this video. And I, well, we, we, we'll talk to you very, very soon. Kirby-based. Annyeong. Annyeong.